Let's go ahead and take a look at what an average workflow might look like for setting up a model for structures or fluids or other flagship applications. You can open from the file menu, or if you already have a Microsoft Explorer window open, you can drag and drop files onto the new interface, which makes it easy to know how to open or insert. Once the model is loaded, notice you can spin with the middle mouse button. Zoom for some may be the scroll wheel or control plus the middle mouse button or shift plus the middle mouse button. Panning is going to be opposite to that, either control or shift plus the middle mouse button. You can change these settings from the file menu, settings, navigation. Most of the models people work with are solid bodies and a lot of them import in as clean solids but that is not always the case. Some files import with some corruption where the solid body is one or more surface bodies, as you can see here. Sometimes those bodies just need to be joined together. Sometimes there are small or large openings in the body to be closed off. And sometimes the faces or edges have been corrupted or damaged and need to be fixed or replaced. Any model can have any combination of errors or be error free. Discovery has the same great repair tools, stitch, gaps, and missing faces, which saves a lot of effort, but do not always get the job done. You may know of check geometry to find errors and give guidelines to fix them, but the new and improved check geometry in Discovery has an automated repair tool that can often fix those more invisible issues plaguing you from moving on. Here, the stitch tool is highlighting some, but not all of the edges to be stitched. And if you complete it, there are still multiple bodies. There are old tricks like saving to step and importing back in, but they don't always work and take some time to do. The check geometry tool now has a repair icon that will run on the selected bodies from this panel. Control select them and click this repair icon. After, you can recheck right from here and see if they are resolved. If you load up the stitch tool again, it highlights the rest of the edges and they join into one body. To wrap up the repair, it's important to know how to adjust the tools. If you run gaps, it finds one small gap that we can zoom in on to see and click to heal. We can zoom out and run the missing faces tool. There is a small one over here, but in this large opening, you can see you need to add a face there. The default repair of the missing faces tool is to patch in a new face within that red border. It also has the option to fill, which is to extend the existing faces to close off the opening. Patch is very reliable and closes off the opening like this. On the other one, if you zoom in, the edges are askew, and you probably do not want to add a face there or extend the faces. You want the edges to be adjusted down, and that is what the gaps tool does. Notice in the gaps tool on the HUD that there is a maximum size for angle and distance. If you increase the distance by 10x at a time, it will usually find the opening, but you may need to increase the angle too. Once highlighted in red in the gaps tool, click the gap or the check mark to see the edges adjust. Notice the model has changed from transparent to opaque. This means you repaired the surface body into a solid body. You can see a small face here you may not want, so you can box select it and fill. Notice it's only one face, but sometimes there can be tiny little sliver faces next to the face to remove, so box select would select them if there were. If you click fill or F for fill, it will delete that face and extend or trim any neighboring faces. Now you have a clean solid to work with and prep for meshing.